So I'm sure you've heard the reports at this point. The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max went on sale a little less than a week ago, and the first owners of the device, some of them at least, are complaining that the device can get too hot during usage while charging. Sales of Apple's latest iPhone 15 Pro are heating up, and so, reportedly, are the actual devices. It's the Wall Street Journal reporting that some folks are talking about Phones that reach 122 degrees. Yeah. Uh, some people are suggesting that the iPhone 15 Pro design is in some way flawed. The speculation that I've seen is that it's something in the construction of the phone. These are titanium phones. Titanium does not allow the release of heat from the phone like other materials do, so that appears to be one of the issues. A speculation, an accusation at the moment. I wanna get to the bottom of it and see if it's even true at all. I haven't noticed this, I haven't tested for it. I've kind of read a couple of articles. I've also seen on Twitter users reporting that their devices are going above 100 Fahrenheit, and in some cases, the charge would stop at 80%. It's just heating up too much. In an attempt to get to the bottom of this, I have done a few things. So so for one, I've got the thermal imaging camera so we can get some good data as far as how hot these phones are getting. And then I've also gone out and gotten an iPhone 14 Pro Max in this box here. This is sealed still at the moment. And you probably think that's crazy. Well, it is kind of crazy, but I wanted good data here because this is a big issue. I wanna find out if it's actually happening. Sometimes when the phone is brand new, it can heat up a little bit more than it will eventually, like shortly after setup. There's one more speculation that we're gonna address as well, which is maybe the overheating is software associated. Maybe it's because of iOS 17.0.2. So in order to combat that, we've got 17.0.2 installed on another iPhone 14 Pro Max. Whew. Could it be software? Could it be hardware? Could it be the latest generation of devices? Could it be pro devices versus non-pro? Would you look at this? This is the plus model device with an aluminum frame. And we all know, those of us that are technology fans, that Aluminum is incredibly capable when it comes to heat dissipation. Is it superior to things like titanium or even the stainless steel from the previous Pro Max version? There are so many speculations at the moment. Couple of headlines. iPhone 15 Pro overheating concerns highlighted in two more reports, courtesy of Mac Rumors. Apple's iPhone 15 Pro draws overheating complaints. Insider. Forbes. Apple iPhone 15 Pro overheating reports. And then 9 to 5 Mac iPhone 15 Pro design once again blamed for causing overheating problems. In this package here, we have the new 15 Pro Max Blue Titanium. All we did is run down the battery to zero. In this package, let's go ahead and unseal it so you can see it's a brand new phone. Probably been sitting on the shelf for a while, but we'll see what percentage of its 80% battery life it has retained while sitting on the shelf. Oh, so this one has way too much battery power. Let's go ahead and run this one all the way down so it's a completely fair test. Look at this beautiful setup. We have all the devices in front of me now and I've added a couple more in order to spice things up and just get a better idea of the landscape of these devices, like the entirety. An iPhone 15 regular running iOS 17, 15 plus, iOS 17. The Pro Max, which is at the center of this controversy, overheating, well, whether it exists or doesn't exist. This is an existing 14 Pro Max that was in the studio that had also been updated to iOS 17. And that's interesting because beside it is the new out of the box 14 Pro Max on iOS 16. Has not been updated yet. So we can see if software is playing a role when you have two identical pieces of hardware. And then just for fun on the very end, we have the device that I'm currently using the S23 Ultra. Over here, we have identical power bricks. Actually, we've got a lot of power bricks courtesy of our friends over at Anchor. You guys know that's our charging partner. They make a charger for everyone, regardless of what you want. If you want the ultra portable, this is the new Nano Pro. So we'll do the 20 watt test first, and then we'll move over to the more substantial fast chargers. This is 65 watt capable. So we'll see if the higher powered chargers create more heat, create more of a problem. The key to this test is right here. This of course is the thermal imaging camera. So we will be checking each of these devices at different intervals to see where exactly they're heating up on the device. And the last thing to mention, these are all dead dead, like completely dead because we want to go from zero. 15 plus, dead dead. 15 Pro Max, completely dead. 
14 Pro Max iOS 17, also very dead. iOS 16 on the 14 Pro Max, brand new out of the box, dead. And S23 Ultra, they're all dead. And by the way, if you wanna kill a battery quickly, just shoot the highest resolution video and let it run. That baby will heat up. I also have two different temperature gauges. We'll use this one for the preliminary and then we'll get the infrared images to see where the devices are heating up as well. And then we've also got a timer here. We're gonna check in at different intervals. Now keep in mind, there's other variables like the temperature of the room. So the ambient temperature here, table temp 71.2, phone temp 71.2, because these things are dead. Actually a little cooler than that. But ultimately the room is pretty cool. So any finding we have here, you can obviously imagine that if it was warmer in the environment, then we would reach these temperatures sooner. I'm gonna have to plug them in quickly. One, two, three, four, Five and six. Whoa. Let's go ahead and start the timer. A little heat going right away. I can just tell from the touch. I'm not gonna check until the five minute mark though. So I wanna let them establish a charge. A reminder, we're coming off of a 20 watt power brick at this point. We will get our measurements and then we'll increase the charge rate to see if those measurements change and by how much. Okay, we are approaching the five minute mark here. Let's start on this side. Ooh, we are up for sure. 82 and a half, 83, 84. Move over to the 15 plus, around the same. 15 Pro Max, iOS 17, a little cooler. I found a hot spot. Not quite 83 yet. Hmm, 14 Pro Max on iOS 17, up over 84. 83.4. 83.6, very similar. And the Samsung is cooler, it has not cracked. Still didn't crack 80 though, 79.7. The S23 Ultra is the coolest. The iPhones are almost all the same temperature at this point. Now keep in mind, those early reports seem to indicate that it was later on in the charge cycle that things started to heat up. I think it was around the 80% mark. So this might not be all that significant right now, but let's go ahead and reach for the thermal device and see where these are getting hot. So we're approaching 15 minutes now, or 14 minutes. You can see the portions of the device that are hot tend towards the right side if you're looking from, from the back and we can look for our brightest spot to sort of see our peak temperature on each. 83, right around 83 it looks like. 15 plus, maybe slightly less heat. Bigger body, more ability to dissipate, more aluminum. I mean, we're talking about like one degree. Get over to the Pro Max, 81.2, close. 81, oh, 81.5. The iOS 16 and 17 device are very similar here. And the Samsung, it looks to be mostly high 70s. Still approaching 80, but the majority of it tends to stay underneath 80. You can see just how much warmer the iPhone is, top to bottom, compared to the Samsung, like that by how bright that glow happens to be. You know what, it's nothing crazy going on right now. Like these, are they warm? Sure, they're warm, not uncomfortably hot. Let's check the battery life here real quick. So 26% charged, 15 Pro Max, 15 Plus, 28% charged, 32% charged on the 15. So like we're getting close to that halfway charged point and these things haven't really cracked 90 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll check in one more time and then we'll switch the chargers out for the 65 watt models and see if that makes a difference. 30 minute mark, 90, oh, keep going, 93, 93. A lot of this, it depends on the spot that you're pinpointing, but I'm gonna basically be looking for hot spots here. 93.3 was the hottest I got on this device. 93, so they're very comparable at this point. 15 Pro Max is borderline 93 as well, although it is a little bit cooler. Very comparable. 14 Pro Max, ooh, a little hotter. I saw it breach 94. Yeah, there we go, 94.2. iOS 17, iOS 16, 94.2. Almost identical. And Samsung coming in at 85, 86. The iPhones are basically hot everywhere but the camera section at the moment. And the Samsung is a more subtle yellow. It's not quite as bright, but it looks to be fairly evenly distributed across the back of the device. This guy is 
83 and this one is 93. Like that 10 degrees difference Fahrenheit, quite substantial when you're holding it. This one feels hot, whereas to me, this one feels kind of normal. I would barely describe it as warm. I mean, it's obviously warmer than the ambient temperature, but not in a noticeable way where this I'd say, oh yeah, I'm holding, that's a hot phone. That phone's heating up. So that 10 degrees Fahrenheit difference is noticeable. Is it doing any kind of damage? Is it incredibly dangerous? No, at this point, it really hasn't impacted anything. Let's check our charge rates here. 61%, 49%, bigger battery, obviously, 49%, 53%, interesting, 53% of the 14s, a little quicker, and the S23, 41%. So we've been charging now for 35 minutes. What do you say we step it up a notch here and go to the more powerful bricks? Whether that makes a difference or not, we'll find out. So I'm just gonna hit the power switch here. Now each one of these chargers is a 65 watt capable. The one on the very far end is a 100 watt capable charger. The 100 watt I will reserve for the Samsung device. Throw even more power at it and see if we can get it to heat up. Plugged in and ready to go. They had a moment of rest there. Now let's go ahead and flip the switch and they are coming off the bigger power bricks now. We'll give that about five minutes and see if things change. Hmm. Looks like the heat has actually gone down a little bit. Much hotter over here. Uh, the 15 plus is above 95, 95 and a half was the high there. 15 Pro Max. Ooh. That's our new high is the 14 Pro Max on iOS 17, reached 96.4, 96.6. 14 Pro Max on iOS 16, 92.6. And the S23 Ultra. Ooh, we're finally heating up on the 100 watt charger. We're into the 93, 94. This one must be flying now. And that's warm now. And we're at 58%. 15 Pro Max, 63%. Now it's a race to the finish line. Obviously battery sizes are different. Will we crack 100? And if so, at what moment? It was weird that the standard model really cooled off. iPhone 15 standard, like really cooled off. It's not a massive difference. So it's not like in one case we're reading 100 and then the other phone is like 80. They're all pretty close, maybe with the exception of the standard 15 now, which seems to measure for some reason below 90, like 88.8. And then the others are towards 95 at the moment. Let's give it 10 more minutes. Give it 10 more minutes. 56 minutes of charging. Quite a bit of charging. Down even more. This one has cooled right off. iPhone 15, iOS 17, down to 83.8 at the high and 76% charged. 15 plus also cooled off a little bit. 89 degrees Fahrenheit, 88.8 sitting at 79% charged. 15 Pro Max equally cooled off. 88.7, 88.3, 88, not even 88, 87.8, 76% charged. Ooh, 14 Pro Max stays above 90, but barely. 79% charged, 14 Pro Max on iOS 16, 88.8, 75% charged. S23 Ultra, now the hottest, and 94.4, 84% charged. Well, obviously the S23 Ultra is taking more power at the moment and recharging faster. So that's the reason we're getting more heat here, but we still haven't cracked 100. So I think an hour into this, we have to step things up a little bit and to see how they work at the extremity. We'll open the camera application, 4K 60, and we will begin recording. Camera, video, 4K 60, record. Camera, video, 4K 60, record. All right, so they're all recording now and recharging, taking as much power as they possibly can. Now they should heat up even more because they're functioning and fast charging. I think we'll be able to crack 100 here, but let's give it about five minutes. One hour and seven minutes and the devices are now running application in the background and it's a hefty application. Oh baby! 106.1 was the high, here we go, 106.107. So you can see here, we're up to 107.7 on the iPhone 15. Now the 15 Plus cools itself off a little better in this terrible scenario. 104, bigger surface area, just ever so slightly better than the iPhone 15. Pro Max coming in, 104. 
149, 105. Still not as hot as the first phone. 14 Pro Max on iOS 17. Cooler. Wait, climbing pretty fast. Not that much cooler. 104. You know, 105, 106. And obviously the S23 Ultra, not quite as hot 100 on the dot they're all up over 100 now what does that feel like to hold that feels burning hot that obviously is burning hot in your hand it is quite uncomfortably hot what is the finding any phone can get hot big time and these have continued to get thinner and lighter charge faster shoot higher resolution video and given a certain combination of stressors pretty much all of them can crack 100 should it happen when you're just recharging the device probably not it's you know it's difficult for me to validate some of those findings there's so many variables at play like what kind of applications are possibly running in the background what is the ambient temperature what is the charger that you're using how much optimization is the phone doing at that particular moment is it brand new or have you used it a bunch such a wide variety of variables and models and i didn't find anything all that out of the ordinary but do i think it's a design flaw do i think there are corners being cut probably not based on this finding here there might be some devices that are defective that are heating up more easily that have some sort of an issue that's always a possibility but my samples in front of me are all extremely comparable we went up to 110.4 here we're still going up 111 i think what might be happening in some of these circumstances the person has preheated the phone sounds like we're doing baking here but like was playing games or shot a bunch of video and then immediately plugged it in then the fast charge kicked in so then it was a combination effect but as you can see it's not exclusive to the 15 pro max hopefully you can gather some insight from it and hopefully you can go support our sponsor as well over at Anchor. Pick up a little power brick, whether it be a 20 watt or maybe you want the 65. I'm a big fan of this unit here. For me, it's not even that much bigger and has the flip down prong so it's even more portable. And then you're going to use it for your ultra book. One charger to rule them all. Anyways, lots of nice options over there. If you found this to be useful in any way, go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment. Do you feel that it's heating up too much? And if so, what series of events causes yours to reach these steaming hot temperatures above 100 degrees? Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching. Later, guys.